Hi guys, Josh Vada here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. Anyway, so I'm here to review this Yeti uh, Carry All Keep All Camino 20. Uh, it's this sucker here. It's one of my favorite, favorite bags. So I really like luxury bags, but taking them to work, especially as a COVID unit nurse, I just think it's so gross. Like I have my Louis and stuff, but I try not to take them in because I think it's gross. So this guy, the thing that I like most about it is that you can wipe the hell out of it with cavi wipes, bleach wipes, you can lice all it, it doesn't care. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so I got this one. I think it's like 150. I'll put the price in the description. But I got this one at Dex Sporting Goods. So um, I don't know. I couldn't find any of, the, any of these size. I got the bigger one, which I had been using, but it's a little big. Um, it works perfectly for me because I don't care. I'm not going to be taking 17 little bags in all over my shoulders if I can take a big giant one. Um, but this one's a perfect size. So I was looking at the Louis Vuitton Never Full. MM and then GM too because I was like I'm not gonna be able to fit anything in it and then I also was looking at a Christian Louboutin it's like I forgot what it's called but it's a tote bag with little spikes here so I was looking at those but they weren't in stock so then that's when I found this little dude um, so I'm currently using it as my gym bag because I like that I can just leave it on the floor and throw it around and leave my water bottle in there and nothing nobody cares um, also I can put because of all these cute little daisy chains you see I can put my lock here my key here my inhaler here if I need it um, but it just it's very solid very durable bag um, and it's literally just a bucket with handles on it uh, it does have this cool little closure that I'm trying to close so I can unlock for you guys um, to kind of keep stuff in here but this isn't going to be like a, a bag that you're scared to like put stuff in because it's going to fall out that's just not going to be the case because it's a giant dump bag um, so it has that closure otherwise I'll take out what's in here so I take this with me it has my uh, goggles for the tanning bed which they don't really do here in Arizona because it's so freaking bad on your skin over here um, gloves and stuff like that here's my yoga my yoga towel that I used to stretch on I have some extra big headphones for when I'm feeling rowdy I have my weight belt and then on this side I have a giant daisy chain that I use to stretch um, and then basically that's it that's all that's inside of here uh, it's literally just a big empty bucket um, it does have these cool little side handle things uh, not handle, they're like compartments, and you can fit like a regular 16 ounce water bottle in them. I've been keeping up separate things in here, so on one side I'll put like my workout gloves before I had this thing, which is a bag shaper insert. I don't know, I ran out of bags. Um, but I was putting in like just to keep stuff separate on stuff I would use versus maybe I would use. Um, but it also has these really cool side zippers, which are nice. Oh, this is cool. You put this on the back of your iPhone. I don't have it with me. Do I have it with me? So if you're like me, you don't like to throw your phone on the ground. I guess it's like a thing. But anyway, you put it on the back of your iPhone and then this is a magnet and you can just stick it to the gym equipment because it's iron or steel or metal or whatever. So I thought that was cool. But you do get two of these little zippers. If you see in there. Like you get two of them and the other one I put my wallet or my sunglasses, stuff I want to keep separate. Um, and then these are handles. This feels like very durable. Like these things are freaking durable. The other one I was using it for everything and it's like barely, barely starting to lose its shape. And I'm okay with that because it's a big old bucket and all you have to do is just like heat it up and let it set and it goes back into its shape. Um, it's just uh, This part is like, uh, rubber rubber texturized so that's that's part I've just been throwing around and there's like no scuffs and I've been throwing this around all crazy it's been my daily carry for a few weeks um, because it's so big and tough and solid the only thing though is like um, if you want to switch out bags real quick if you don't have inserts and stuff like that it's a little bit harder to do but this thing is a beast like I could see you putting in a laptop in here if you had like a laptop case and carrying it around because that's what I plan to do I plan on using this one as my um, 
nurse bag when I go back to work because I won't need as much whenever I go back to work. This job that I'm at now, I just feel like I need a lot of stuff. Give me a second, I'll bring the big guy over and show you what's in there. So uh, my next job is gonna be a float pool and the thing that happens, sorry, the thing that happens when you're a float nurse, is like you're everywhere. Like you don't have a same space that you go to. So you bring with you what you think you're gonna need. Um, so this one is Bertha. This one's the one I've been using at work. I switched over to a backpack last week and it's just not working because I can't just throw my backpack on the ground like I can with these guys because they sit up. The only thing is you gotta be careful that people don't think it's a trash can because I saw people throwing gloves. I'm like, that's not a garbage. So I've been keeping it closed with the attachment thing, but it's literally the same bag. It's just a lot bigger. So for size comparison, the 20 and this one is a 35. I think leader. Oh, and they have opposite color schemes. Um, they're literally the same bag, one's just bigger. So they do have these handles which are like metal and it's so you can carry all the water because these things are waterproof. You can literally put water in them, take it up a hill. Um, so I have masks and 95 and then mask tape and regular masks in here. Um, I have my Pickle Rick pencil bag. Everyone comments on this, which I think is cool. Uh, microfiber cloth for my uh, phone and stuff. I have like a little coach makeup bag with just like random incidentals. Migraine medicine, my inhaler, eye drops, hand sanitizer, um, just my cords for my batteries and stuff. Uh, this was a snack and tea bag. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Let's see what else is in here. A little fan because sometimes they get hot and it's on USB powered, but it's also battery powered. Um, this, I spray everything when I get to work. It's disinfecting mist. I know a lot of people were teasing me when I was working inpatient because I would spray everything when COVID hit and now I don't even play. I just get it done. <laughs> and then this is a microfiber uh, and a hat, a surgical cap. My own hand sanitizer, I use this if someone's got really stinky poo poo caca because I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but when people are in the hospital, they poop the bed like almost every few hours for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. They don't want to get up, they don't want to do anything. I came from rehab where we're like, come on, let's go, let's do this, let's go, let's go, let's move, let's move. But people in the hospital do not want to get up, so they'll just poop in the bed. And then you have to clean the whole bed. And if it's stinky poop, it stays in your mask. So you have to move on and move your mask. And that was one thing I thought was really strange during COVID is like we were reusing those poo poo caca masks. It was so gross. Um, I have my abdominal fat binder, my squeeze me skinny. Cause me and one of the girls are comparing who can be in the longest. <laughs> she wins. Um, this is a bunch of Sour Patch Kids, but they're put away in a little container. Um, a little lamp, because I do have LASIK, I can't see at night very well. Um, so when everyone puts the lights off to let the patients know it's bedtime, like this saves my butt. And it's also battery powered and USB powered if I need it, but it'll help me so I'm not that person that's being a boohoo crybaby about being in the dark, like I got it. Um, fiber and vitamin C. This is my TENS unit. I use this sometimes if I feel like my back is getting messed up at work or if I miss the gym too many times in a row. Like I'll bring that sucker out to help me because otherwise I'm just burning and uncomfortable and that's all I can think about. Cause I do have a nurse injury that I caught a patient. They just gave up on life and on transferring. So they just left. Um, they fell off the toilet and I caught them and put them on a wheelchair. Midair, 200 and 300 pounds or something. He was a big old guy. He hung him up and I was like, ah. So I don't mess with my back anymore. This is an umbrella because it's been raining here in Phoenix, Phoenix, which is very funny. Like I didn't know it even rained here because it's so ridiculously hot outside. Um, but this is where I'm traveling right now. Um, emergency medicine. So this is for my ADHD, like if I forget to take a pill, I wanna make sure I do the best job possible, so I always keep these on me. And then some smell, just in case I forget deodorant, I'll throw that on to be polite. Um, this one also has those same insides where it's this um, zipper and it's all waterproof. Zipper and then thread and paper and more tea and toss that, wasn't it a bag? Um, but yeah, it's got this same rubber under undercarriage. And these things are solid. And you saw all the stuff that fit in there. There's more room that I could put stuff in here. And what I usually do is I will, on top of all of the stuff that's in here, I will put um, 
Oh, this fell out. It's an ear saver. So I was getting little pressure injuries on my ear. Um, I'll put my lunch on top of it so that I know where my lunch box is because someone ate my lunch one time here. And I thought that was the strangest activity that I'd ever seen. But, you know, people get weird in a hospital. I don't know what it is, but people get freaking weird in a hospital, yo. Like, why would you eat my snack? Like, what if I was eating cat feces or something? Like, ooh. <laughs> But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll put in a couple videos of me modeling this stuff. I'm only 5'9", 5'10", so it looks how it looks on me, but I don't care because I'm a sturdy child and I'm strong. I'm a strong kid. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Young. <laughs> Bye.